1,500 student athletes, 29 teams, one pride, wearing the blue and white, all for the glory of Old State. This is your weekly roar on GoPSUSports.com. Welcome everyone to this week's edition of For the Glory. I'm Tony Mancuso, filling in for Gia this week. We are here at the South End Zone in Beaver Stadium. Penn State football traveled to the nation's capital on Saturday to take on Indiana at FedEx Field. The Nittany Lions dominated in the second half and route to a 41-24 victory over the Hoosiers. Behind 496 offensive yards, the Nittany Lions moved to 7-4 on Saturday afternoon with a 41-24 victory over Indiana. Matt McGloin threw for a career-high 315 yards and two touchdowns to lead the Penn State offense. But the play of the game came from two unsung heroes on the special teams unit. Andrew Daly's block punt and walk-on James Van Fleet's return for a touchdown broke a 24-24 tie in the third quarter. Penn State now heads into a crucial week of preparations for number 10 Michigan State. The Spartans need a win to claim the Big Ten title. Penn State needs a win to solidify a New Year's Day Bowl. It will be a high stakes battle in the final game in Beaver Stadium this fall. Stay tuned to the football blog for video interviews with Stefan Wisniewski and Gerald Hodges. Also watch for some bowl analysis this week as we lead up to a crucial game to end the season. The Penn State men's soccer team hosted Old Dominion in the second round of the NCAA tournament on Sunday at Jeffrey Field. Let's go to Ryan Quinn who covered the Lions win. I'm here at Jeffrey Field where the Penn State Nittany Lions just knocked off ODU 4-1 in the second round of the NCAA Division I Championship. ODU struck first, but the Nittany Lions equalized midway through the first half with a goal by Corey Herzog, assisted by Matthias Braga. In the second half, Herzog and Braga joined forces once again for a momentum swinging goal. Jordan Tyler found his way to the net soon after, giving the Lions a solid 3-1 lead late in the game. And finally, after a rough hit, Herzog scored his third goal of the game on a penalty kick, securing a 4-1 Penn State victory. And the Lions will travel to Maryland on Sunday to face the Terps at 5 p.m. in the third round of the NCAA tournament. Win two tickets to watch the game from the press box at Beaver Stadium for Penn State's November 27 home game versus Michigan State. Cheer on the Nittany Lions from the outstanding view as this package features seats on the sweet level of the press box. The winner will also get pregame access to the sidelines. The Nittany Lion basketball squad hosted both St. Joe's and Fairfield this past week, defeating both opponents at the BJC. The victory over Fairfield improved Penn State to 3-0 for the third time under coach Ed DeCellis. Log on to GoPSU TV as Marcus Green recaps both wins with post-game interviews with the players. The Nittany Lions will complete a four-game homestand to start the season on Monday when they take on Central Connecticut State in a 7 p.m. tip live on the Big Ten Network. The Lady Lion basketball team improved to 4-0 on Sunday afternoon with a dominant victory over SEC foe South Carolina. Behind another hot shooting performance, Penn State now heads into a three-game road trip at the Caribbean Challenge in Riviera Maya, Mexico. The Lions will meet Utah, Wisconsin Green Bay, and Hartford this week. Log on to GoPSUSports.com for coverage from the Lady Lions trip to Mexico. The seventh-ranked Penn State women's volleyball team swept both Ohio State and Northwestern 3-0 last week to extend their home match winning streak to 90 consecutive victories. The Nittany Lions streak is now tied for first place in NCAA Division I volleyball history. Log on to GoPSU TV, which exclusively recaps each match with highlights and post-game interviews. Penn State travels this week to Iowa on Friday at 2 p.m. and Minnesota on Saturday at 9.30. Both matches will air live on the Big Ten Network. This week on GoPSUSports.com is the Athletes for the Kids auction benefiting the Student Athlete Advisory Board's efforts to raise money for Dance Marathon. There are over 25 great items to bid on, which all the proceeds go to the Four Diamonds Fund to fight pediatric cancer. Some of the great items are two tickets to next season's football matchup against Alabama, a Joe Paterno signed football, tons of other Penn State sports memorabilia, an exclusive photo session with the Nittany Lion, and much more. Bidding ends this Wednesday, and make sure you put in your bid to end pediatric cancer. 
Number six, Penn State Wrestling won seven of ten bouts and route to a 22-10 victory over number 24 Rutgers in the final matchup of the 2010 Sprawl and Brawl duels in Binghamton, New York. The Lions also defeated tournament foes Harvard 45-0 and West Virginia 40-3. The victory over Rutgers helped the Lions go 3-0 at the event and stay unbeaten on the season. The Nittany Lions now return home December 5th for the Nittany Lion Open at Rec Hall. For the first time since 1994, the Nittany Lion men's and women's cross country teams will both toe the line at the NCAA Championships Monday at the Laverne Gibson Championship Course in Terre Haute, Indiana. Want to connect with thousands of other blue and white fans? You can by becoming a fan on Facebook.com slash Penn State Nittany Lions and check out GoPSCSports.com for our list of coaches on Twitter. This week, either make a post on the Nittany Lions official Facebook page or send us a tweet at GoPSCSports1 with a tag for the glory telling us what you would like to see on our show and you could win an official Paternoville t-shirt. That's all for our show today, but tune in next week as we recap all the Penn State sports teams in action. I'm Tony Mancuso, and this is For the Glory.